Good day everyone, it's a Saturday and uh, we have something to fix. Let me take the item. We have this TV with the broken glass, but the owner confirmed that the TV was working with this. This is just the outer glass, the LCD is inside. So what is this TV? This is the... Arwa. I don't know if that's the name. H A R W A R A 29 inch LED TV. The TV was booked in as no power. Yeah, the TV is already plugged. We must have some kind of red light for standby. But I can't see anything. Even if I press, you can hear the switch clicking. The switch is clicking, but the TV is not turning on. So let me take out the engine and we'll try to find out what is the problem. That should be a quick job, okay? So I took out the power supply. That's the power supply for the TV. You can see. So what you can we spot here? All the capacitors looks fine. We have those four dials on the output. We have the fer that's ferret ferret uh, transformer. We do have the 400 volts capacitor under here. We have the switching MOSFET rectifier bridge black thing that the fuse. Okay. So let's put our match bit on diode mode and start checking some things. I'll, I'll first check those diodes for short. The diode looks good. Let's go a little bit back and check the big capacitor. The gap big capacitor there's no short underneath this heat sink we do have the switching MOSFET I can see the pins here the MOSFET looks fine here we have the plastic thing I don't know how to check out the plastic. Let's try to check the rectifier. Rectifier. So why? I can't see any sign of like, like a crack disorder, blown up components. But the thing, the TV is not working. Let's check the fuse. Here we have the black thing, so I'll check at the back. And the fuse here is blown up. The fuse must be like this. And here it's blown up. And you know what? This is the most stressful moment when you see a blown up fuse. But everything in the circuit looks fine. So why is the fuse blown up? If the rectifier bridge is okay, the, the switching MOSFET is okay, probably we have some... We do have the, the driver here. And the diode, let me check this diode. No, the diode looks fine. So why the fuse blown up? You know what? Let me look for a fuse. For sure, we don't really know why the fuse blown up. 
let's uh, let's replace that fuse with our own fuse. I want to see smoke. Want to do an experiment today? I will check out this. Uh, what is this? This resistor, and we use a resistor as a fuse. What do you think? Because otherwise, without experiments, one we are not going to learn anything. So let's replace the fuse with this resistor. Let me check out the resistor first and try to find the real value of this resistor. Uh, that's the resistor. So checking this resistor. Ohms. Ohms. We have like 0 0.63 ohms close to 1 ohm. This should be fine. So, I will replace a fuse with this resistor. Because if we check on the diode mode, our resistor is like 0, 0. That's, that is the way how a fuse is working. So, it's not a big, big deal to replace a, a fuse with a, with a very low ohms resistor. Let's test. Is this going to work or not? I'm curious to see. Because the other thing, we are not... We are not sure if this is going to solve the problem. You know, that's what happens when you try to do shortcuts. I don't want to check out the plastic thing. I don't want to check out the plastic thing. Oh, what I want to do is to replace the fuse with our own new fuse. So if this is going to work from today onwards, that will be our new fuse. That will be our new fuse. That will be our new fuse. Okay. Let's check now. Let's check our fuse. Zero. So, what I will do, I'll plug this power supply on power. If it doesn't, if the power supply is not going to explode, I'll put everything on the TV and we'll try to check. Plugged on power. Nothing explodes. That's a good sign. Let's check the voltage on the big capacitor. Check on the screen. 
321 volts. Three twenty one. What about on the output? Do you have any voltage? Eleven volts. Are the twelve volts? Three point three. So on the output, I'm only seeing three point three. Probably that's for the standby, and we also have twelve volts. Okay. So let let me put all together, and we we'll come back for testing. Okay. Let's see now. Do you have a working TV or not? I've plugged in the TV and you can see here, you can see this red light, this one. You see the red light for the standby. Power on. Arwa, it's working. Our TV is working fine. I can't believe. It's working fine, you see? Everything is working fine here. So, that was just a fuse. So, our experiment really worked. Yeah, the TV is still on. Like what the owner is saying, that this glass is broken. But you can see, everything is fine. You can press the menu. We press all the buttons. Everything is working fine. You can power off. Power on again. You see the arrow. So our TV is working fine. So from today onwards, I won't gonna use a wire to replace fuse anymore. We'll use a resistor with a low value. This is a 1 ohm resistor, which we use here. And uh, our TV is working fine. So it's good when you try to modify things and the things they are working on your site. So like, comment, and share. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. See you on the next one. Bye.